Hi everyone, it's Karis from Macquarie's channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And in today's video, I will be doing my round 11 tits for Indigenous round, and I'll go over my round 10 tits. If you are listening to Karis and welcome, like, comment, share. If you're new to the channel, watch this for the first time, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, what games that we have witnessed as well? Um, got two wrong, which was Melt, Numb, and also um, the Giants. But I got most of my tips correct in getting seven out of ten, um, seven out of nine, which was pretty good. So I mean, like, mine's that nine. I picked the Giant, uh, the Suns to win. I picked the Swans, I picked the Magpies, I picked the Dockers, I picked Brisbane, I picked Essendon, I also picked Port Adelaide, and you're thinking, oh no, I was going to get another tip wrong, but I did pretty good in that, now let's jump straight into a Thursday night game in round 11, the Western Bulldogs versus the Swans, now, well, I do think that this is going to be a very interesting game indeed. Um, Bulldogs have won two in the trot. They've done pretty good. Last time these sides met was obviously round 18, 2023, when the Swans won by two points. And then obviously they dominated winning three of the last five. And the only games that the, um, the Dogs won was round four in 2020. And also round three in 2022 as well. So they're the only games that they've won. Um, it, it was a classic last time these two sides met. Um, the way that the Bulldogs have been playing, they've been playing pretty good. But I like to go on the forms patch of the Swans and they were impressive. You know, they really were. They beat the Giants, they beat Fremantle and they also beat the Blues as well. Um, I know that they beat the, the Hawks on top of it. And we know with the Western Bulldogs that they won against the Saints, lost to Fremantle, lost to the Hawks, beat Richmond pretty convincingly, and also beat the Giants as well. Um, but I do think this will be the battle of which midfield s steps up. There are, there, there are some injury concerns for the Western Bulldogs as well. So while going on about this game, I do feel like you're going to see the best of the Swans. And I do think that you're going to see their midfield run up and, and you know attack the game and take the game on as well. I do expect that once well, that Marvel Stadium, their forwards would want to come out and play well, but... Having said that too, I think that Sydney's for, um, defense was stand up really well. Um, and they did a good job against Charlie Kerner, Harry Mackay, and also Tom Deconi. And I think their back line, you know, might be undersized in, with ramping that. I do expect them to play really well. And I think they'll get the job done by... 17 points and I think it's going to be that type of game where we'll see the Bulldogs just try and jump out and, and really play well um, purely based on how we're witnessing this team um, I'm really looking forward to what the Bulldogs will bring up as well um, Fremantle versus the Magpies now tell you what we've been in really good form as well. Um, we only have that one draw against Session on Anzac Day, but we beat the Power by 42 points. We beat the Blues as well. We beat the Eagles, and we also beat the Crows in a classic game. But the Dockers, they lost to the Eagles. They beat the Bulldogs. They beat the Tigers. They lost to the Swans, and they also beat the, the um, Saints as well. Having said that too, the problems are that Fremantle will want to try and make it a less attacking game. They want to make a defensive type of style game. Um, 
I know with our track record that we only we've won three of the last five. The only times they beat us was round 15, 2021 when they beat us by 12 points. And I remember that very well. I was there for that game. And then round 9, 2020, we only lost by 12 points as well. So we've had some few, like, couple goal wins. Um, we did beat them in round 10, 2022 by 36 points when we absolutely smashed them. And then in the semifinals, we beat them by 20 points, and we also beat them by 46 points around 18, 2023, last time that we met. But I do think that we need to make this as, a, as an attacking game, and we need to make sure that we're playing with our intent of really wanting to, to play well. Um, I want to see us perform. I want to see us play with our intensity as well. Um, I do think it will be the battle of which midfield stands up for either team, but with the guys that we do have coming back, and I know that we've got injuries ourselves, um, and I'll probably do a, a, a preview, a full preview for this game, I, I do think that we'll need to make an attacking game style and, and really wanting to make sure that th that we get the ball going faster because... Our brand of football holds up really well. Um, and, we, and we have won on the bigger grounds as well. I know that we've lost to um, Optus Stadium, but we have beaten them at, at Optus Stadium as well. Um, so I I expect us to really perform well. Um, you know, I'll definitely get a chance to stream it. I'm going to say Colin will get the job done by... 15 points. I think it's going to be that type of game where we'll see what these teams will do. So, look, I'm not, I'm, I do have the belief and, you know, I'm, I'm confident we'll win. But at the same time, I'm a little bit worried about this game knowing I'm, I want Fremantle are capable of as well. Now, North Melbourne versus the power up at Blundstone Arena. What boy likes fourth quarter performance as well. Um, I, I think that they sh would be too good. I think their midfield are, are definitely a lot better at Blundstone Arena, but I do feel like with Port, I, I do feel like with Port, Port in particular, I think they're young midfielders. You know, you've got brothers that's playing well, Jason North France is doing a really good job. Um, so, well, I think that they're in a much better form, but I really do expect this Port LA team to really attack and, and perform really well. I'm going to say Port by 50 points. I think they'll just smash them completely. Now, Carlton versus the Gold Coast Suns, when there might be a potential stream for this particular game. Um, look, to be honest, Carlton's under a lot more under the pump than the Gold Coast Suns. Well, the... Well, Carlton have won two, and that needs to beat the Giants. And they also beat the Ds as well, but they lost to the Cats by 30 points. Lost to us by kicking, got absolutely hammered by the Swans. And for Gargoyles, yes, they did lose, lose to the Swans, and they lost to the Brisbane Lions as well. They did beat the Eagles, they did beat North, and they pretty convincingly um, beat the, the Cats as well. Now, remember last time these two sides met, Carlton won by four points in round 23, 2023 as well. Um, they've had a very good record indeed. Not going to lie, Carlton have definitely won three of the last five. And the only times that they've lost was round 21, 2021, when they won by 19 points. And then, obviously, they won by 30 points in round four. 2022 as well, so well, I think this is a different go for some, so I think their midfield will be um, too good, I think their forward line um, are much better forward line than Carlton at the moment um, well, there's a chance to Jake that we will not play I do feel like we're going to see this particular game in particular Cop a huge hit too, so I'm gonna say the Gopher Suns will be too good. I'd say they win by 20 points. 
Mark my words, Dark House will beat the Blues. You can absolutely clip this. I don't care. But the Gold Coast Suns will beat the Blues. Purely based on what Carlton's form isn't great. Losing four of the last six games. And that is bad form going in. Can they turn around? They potentially can with maybe Adam Sard a chance to play. But that's not going to solve anything in, in particular. I think their defence is too easy to, 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 to handle. Even when Reedwin wasn't there. Also, their forward line is so questionable, you, know, you don't know what to get. Expect out of these two sides as well. So, potentially might stream the Goku Suns, but I say Goku Suns win by 20 points as well. So, it should be an interesting game indeed. Then we have the Cats versus the Giants, IPAC 2 HBA Stadium. Now, last time these two sides met, the Giants won by 7 points round 11, 2023. As well, and they've caused huge, huge upsets as well. They've won three of the last five. The, the Giants, um, they beat them in round one, 2020, when they won by 32 points. The, um, round eight, 2022. So now that they, they won last time, these sides met um, was round 11, 2023, and also round one, 2020. So they've won two of the last five. Where the Giants, and, and, and also, no, sorry, three of the last five, in round 21, 2021, the Giants won by 19 points at Jim HBA Stadium. So it's a ground that they don't hold any fees off, really. Um, also, we know at Optus Stadium, went in the semi final, Cats got the job done by 35 points, and then in round eight, 2020 at Mark, uh, 2022 at Mark Arville, they won as well. So I'm gonna say that this is a huge game, basically on how these teams play. But look, the the Cats have won two. Yes, they defeated the Lions and they've defeated the they defeated the Blues. But I think the concerns are is that they leave so many go goals as well and. Well, I think Hawkins will, will play. Um, the Giants did beat the Lions, but they did lose to the Carlton. They lost to Swans. They lost to the Bombers. And uh, again, it shows against the Bulldogs. So it's out of which form that you really want. But because it's at Team HBA Stadium, I'm going to say the Giants will get the job done by 15 points. I think it will be that type of game that we'll see. Dream time at the G, Richmond versus the Bombers. Now, well, normally these two sides have been... In, in, in one way, um, we had the draw for the Bombers against Collingwood on Anzac Day. They did beat the Crows by 3 points and they did beat the Eagles by a key. Beat the Giants by 20 points and they won by 40 points as well. Now, Essendon won by a point last time these sides met around 10, 20, 23. But don't forget, Richmond normally dominate this particular game as well. Um, they, in Dar round 13, 20, 20, they won in Darwin by 12 points. Um, they won in round 12, 2021 by 39 points at Optus Stadium. And they also beat the, the Bombers by 32 points as well. And then they won by um, 66 points around 23, 2022 as well. But the Bombers did one by a point. But I do feel like this is a different um, Richmond team. This is a rebuilding team. Um, I'm going to pick the bomb. I think the Bombers' forward line will be too good. But I think the midfield... A lot better. I'm going to say the Bombers by 100 points. I think this is going to be a game where it will be a 100 point margin for sure. And I, I can't see it being close. Hawthorne versus the Lions at Marvel Stadium. Uh, well, I do think that you get this type of game. Um, for me, I think that they're definitely a chance to perform. Um, battle the of the defence, really. I think Hawthorne will be disappointing, but you see the results coming their way as well. The, the, the form gap is that they've won three of the last five. Um, they did lose the Swans and they lost to the Power by point, but they've been very good, Hawthorne. They beat North Melbourne, they beat the Bulldogs, and also beat the Saints. Um, well, Brisbane, they won against the, Ti uh, against the Tigers, the Suns. But I also lost to the Cats, they lost to Giants, and they drew against Adelaide as well. 
I'm gonna say Hawthorne's midfield will be too good. I've said they'll win by 16 points. I feel like at Marvel saying that's gonna be an interesting game as, as well. Now we've got Nam versus the Saints. Now Melbourne versus St Gilda at the MCG. I will be in attendance to this game. Now while well, Melbourne have won two of the last five games, St Kilda's won one. And, and that's to me has been disappointing. Yes, they beat Mel um, Richmond pretty convincingly and they beat the Cats by eight points, but they did lose to obviously West Coast. Carlton and the Lions as well, and they will be disappointing. When well, the Saints got smacked by the Bulldogs, lost to the Power, beat North Melbourne, lost to Saints, and also lost to the Dockers as well. Now, I can't trust them. Um, we know that last time these sides spent around 17, 2023, Melbourne won by 21 points at Marvel, but Melbourne have been so dominant, winning for the last five. So, well, I do think it won't be any different. I'm gonna say Melbourne will get the job done and I think they'll be too good to win by 25 points as well. Uh, it, that's a huge amount of games to play. And then Adelaide versus the Eagles up at Adelaide Oval now. Well, I think it'll be the battle which four line can step up as well now there's more, there's no Isaac Rankin on top of it but I do feel like this is gonna be a game where even though both teams have won two and sort of lost two and drew drew one for, for Adelaide's point of view but West Coast have lost all three. Um yes they did beat Fremantle, yes they did beat Melbourne. Having said that they they did get smacked by the Suns and they lost to the Bombers as well. And also Collingwood. I'm going to say this might be a close game, considering that how good that West Coast are um, playing at home, uh, playing away from home. Yeah, the, the, they've shown a fair bit, but I think Adelaide will get the job done by seven points in a real tight game. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to drop a like and also drop a sub. Bye for now.